from the Digital Media Center on the campus of Southern Oregon University in Ashland, Oregon. This is Ramping Up Your English, an educational program for intermediate level English language learners. Here's your host for Ramping Up Your English, John Letts. Welcome to Ramping Up Your English, winner of the Southern Oregon Television Award for Program of the Year and the Award for Best Educational Program. I'm the host and producer, John Letts. Ramping Up Your English is an educational support program for intermediate English learners. It's a program for people from all language backgrounds. Ramping Up Your English is also for people of all ages. If you've already passed the beginning stages of learning English and want to reach higher levels of proficiency, this program is designed to meet your needs. We take a content-based approach to helping you reach higher levels of English proficiency. Our current thematic unit is animals. This is episode one, actually segment one, of episode 58. Now we're still in Africa for this episode. I sure enjoy the video of elephants, lions, giraffes, and cheetahs and other fauna of Africa in our previous episodes. There is one disappointment, though. What about the monkeys and the apes? Well, that brings me to a question. Which animal has the most DNA in common with people? If you answered chimpanzees, you're right. These apes have more genetic material in common with humans than any other animal. Researcher Jane Goodall has used scientific research methods to document evidence of intelligence among chimpanzees in Africa. The use of tools, for example, shows that humans were not unique in this regard. Chimps live in a very complex social system. Careful observation reveals that these social systems have strict rules that affect the standing of each group member. Now, chimpanzees live in groups and form family bonds through grooming each other. Each group is dominated by an alpha male. A chimp's offspring stays with its mother for up to 10 years, learning skills that get passed down from generation to generation. Chimps favor woodlands and dense tropical jungle. They have opposing toes and thumbs, making them agile climbers and users of tools. Let's learn more about chimpanzees from this video. Genetically speaking, this is humans' closest relative. Meet the chimpanzee, our next of kin. To keep the chimps from suffering mental atrophy or boredom, the volunteers at this Oakland, California zoo cast food into places that require some problem-solving skills by these apes. The food is a mixture of wrapped protein snacks, apples, and not surprising, bananas. There's quite a science to feeding animals in captivity, as well as some animal psychology. The food is purposely put where it's hard to get. <laughs> While zoo visitors look on, this family group goes about finding the food and eating it. The best research of chimpanzees comes from scientist Jane Goodall. Her research is done in Africa, studying chimps in their own environment. We see them in captivity. There's a lot of revealing behaviors even here. Chimpanzee society is very hierarchical, much like our own. There are issues of status, leadership, and enforced behavioral norms. Goodall's research revealed that chimpanzee society is complex, but some patterns emerge that mirror much of human group behavior. 
like the dominance of the alpha male, the collective raising and care of the young, and bonding within the group, and how that supports group harmony. Also like humans, that harmony breaks down sometimes into sudden upheaval and occasionally even into violence. This group at the zoo seems pretty harmonious, here where there seems to be plenty of food for everyone. Sharing more than 99% of human DNA, it's no surprise that watching chimpanzees seems so similar to watching ourselves. Oh, there's 